You know, everybody hates to read, it seems, so I'm going to read this first part to you here. There are many ways to cut a pizza, and this is my way of cloning hard drives, thus retaining all the programs and my internet updates. Remember, you cannot back up programs or any internet updates you've downloaded. That's the reason for the clone, or to install a bigger hard drive. Fresh installs of the Windows operating systems means you'd have to reinstall all the programs again too, if you have them. Reinstalling Windows and all programs, then going online for all the updates is very time consuming. Many of my friends and customers don't even have their original program disk. Many have purchased or downloaded programs from the internet, including me. A hard drive failure means they lose their proof of purchase, program codes, updates, etc. because their email is gone too. With a cloned hard drive replacement, you only lose what you've done since the last time you made your clone. This is less time consuming and easier to do versus starting all over. It usually takes about an hour total versus hours of reinstalling programs and then going on updating them on the internet afterwards. Heck, I probably wouldn't even remember all the programs I have. I downloaded free airplanes and helicopters for my flight sims and all the upgrades Vista, Mozilla, and QuickTime, Skype, and Credit Mail, etc. keep sending, so I don't want to have to start all over and do that again. I just purchased an upgrade module online for this Pinnacle Studio software program for 49 bucks. Again, a backup does not back any of this up, so don't say just do a backup, Dave, until you think about this. Even if you could back up everything, your backup disk would have to be slightly bigger than your hard drive. And this is also a good way to put in a bigger hard drive in your computer and do the clone to it, thus losing nothing. It's simple. I've used Norton Ghost and other cloning programs, but was not always successful. I really like the Copy Commander program the best, it has always worked perfectly and it is very user friendly. You see, you can back up your photos, your music, and your documents, but you can't back up the programs. There are updates, like virus definitions or spyware definitions, or any programs that you downloaded off of the internet. The best solution for me has always been to just simply clone the hard drive completely. Put it aside, something goes wrong with the hard drive in your computer, you pull out your clone, you stick it in, everything runs as it always has. And I'm using a program called Copy Commander 9. This program really will work well and it'll copy my Vista. When you run Copy Commander 9 before you start, it will give you the option to make a disk. And you put this in your floppy A uh, at startup and your instructions will come on how to make the copy. So let's take a look at a couple things you need to know before we get started. So what we're going to do now is fix the uh, errors. So I'm going to go in. I'm using my wife's computer here now because it's on Windows XP. It's not as fast and fancy. But let's go ahead and uh, open Windows Explorer. And then uh, we will scroll down to uh, my computer right here. And then the C drive, I will right click on that and then click on Properties when that drop-down window opens. Now I can go up here to where it says Tools and it says uh, Error Checking right here and I can click Check Now or Defrag which is another good thing that you should do. But uh, Check Now. So I'm going to click Check Now. It's going to tell me I have to restart the computer automatically. Fix System Errors. I'm going to say Yes. Start it's telling me I uh, can't do it until I restart the computer so let's go ahead and restart the computer and say yes and this will shut the computer down and restart starting Windows XP okay and here we have the message system file checking you can cancel this within five seconds by pressing any key, but we're going to go ahead and let it go and find and fix any file errors. 
on the C drive and it's running now. Tells the percentage up here 89% complete. Okay, it's completed. And uh, that's good. We're all set. Okay, I usually keep the backup hard drive in the computer. It's not hooked up. I've unscrewed it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out here. The last time I backed this up was 12506. So a couple years ago. So definitely time to uh, to back it up now. And we want to hook this up to the cable. Here's the primary drive here. We simply hook it up onto the second drive. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, I've connected up. This is the disk that I want to copy. And this is the disk that I'm going to copy to. I've set the jumpers up so that they are on, uh, this one is set for slave and this one is set for master. And now I've got the copy commander disk in the floppy and we're going to go ahead and start it up and tell it to copy everything over. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Here's an interesting uh, note for you. The red wires on the power connector and the red wire on your IDE connector are always close to each other. Right next, side by side. And uh, the same thing on this one. You see the red wire and the red wire there. Now, interestingly, but on the floppy drive, the red wires are always on the outside and the power wires on the outside, so the furthest away from each other. Now with the hard drives hooked up and the Copy Commander 9 disk in the floppy drive, just simply start the computer. Okay, Copy Commander is loading. This is loading in DOS. up here and select the hard disk to copy. We're going to do disk C to disk 1. Okay, auto expand to fit target area, fast copy, and let's go ahead and click next. And we should start copying. Target drive is not empty. Select selected operation will overwrite all data on the target disk. You cannot undo this action. Please confirm you wish to continue or press cancel to exit. Proceed. Here we go. It's deleting the partition and it is now copying the hard drive. Well, I apologize for the video, but I'm just aiming the camera at the screen, and uh, you can see the progress here. Lapse 15 minutes of 42 seconds, and time remaining is 29.09. Okay, Copy Commander has finished its action successfully, so let's go ahead. I'm going to boot up both hard drives and make sure they both work, and we'll be done. Okay, there's the backup I just cloned. I've restarted. Let's see what happens here. Yes. Starting up. Okay. That's it. Pretty simple, huh? Good to go. Okay. There's the hard disk that I cloned. I'm now going to use that one. The backup disk, which was the original, I've placed in here. This is probably the safest place to actually keep your spare hard drive and I just put it in the second bay there and uh, I do not have it connected. So thanks for watching folks. If you need a new hard drive or you want to back up your old one, this is just another way to do it.